Robert Berdella, a cautionary tale from Kansas City. In the twilight of the 1980s, a man named Robert Berdella committed heinous acts that would earn him the chilling moniker, the Butcher of Kansas City. His victims were six young men, all between the ages of 18 and 22, who were either known to him or were involved in sex work. Berdella would lure these unsuspecting individuals to his home, where he would incapacitate them using alcohol or sedatives. Once subdued, they were bound and silenced in his basement, their freedom cruelly replaced by the cold steel of piano wire. Over periods ranging from a single night to several weeks, these victims were subjected to a horrifying ordeal. Berdella employed a variety of cruel methods, including electric shocks and physical assault, to inflict suffering upon them. What is perhaps most disturbing is that Berdella meticulously chronicled this process, capturing his actions on film and keeping a detailed record of his deeds. His victims' lives were ultimately extinguished, often through suffocation with a plastic bag. Berdella's reign of terror came to an abrupt end on a quiet spring night in 1988. A captive managed to escape from Berdella's house, leaping from a second-story window wearing nothing but a dog collar. He found help from a nearby meter maid, who promptly alerted the police. Upon securing a search warrant, the police uncovered a gruesome scene within Berdella's residence. They found human remains, personal belongings of missing individuals, and a chilling collection of Polaroid photos depicting the abuse and torture Berdella had inflicted. They also discovered a stenographer's pad that detailed the abduction, torment, and murder of six young men. This evidence led to Berdella's arrest and subsequent conviction for his crimes. He was sentenced to life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. However, Berdella's life ended while he was still incarcerated at the Missouri State Penitentiary. On October 8, 1992, he suffered a heart attack, reportedly due to prison officials refusing to administer his heart medication. This story serves as a stark reminder of the darkness that can lurk beneath the surface of ordinary life and the importance of remaining vigilant and aware. Have your own spin on this case? Let us know in the comments.